Hello, Ben here. Welcome to Dragon Fist VR Kung Fu and a quick tutorial on how to set up full body trackers uh, for it. Okay, so first first up you need a uh, VR setup that supports full body tracking. So for most solutions at the moment, time of recording, uh, you need some base stations. So I've got a Vive uh, uh, set up here, but a Valve Index should work and, and others. Uh, other solutions may be available and might be coming available uh, that don't require these base stations, but just make sure you check. Okay, I've heard that you can do uh, use the Quest with these trackers, but there's a bit more involved in setting that up and you will still need the base stations. So have a look on YouTube if you want to get that working. Okay, so so the trackers I'm using here are three five three point naught trackers. And I've got them attached to straps and um, to B haptics tactosy for feet to add haptic vibrations to the kicks. Uh, so those aren't mandatory, but they can, you know, as, uh, add to the uh, realism. You don't have to have the waist tracker. You can get away with just the two for the feet, but um, having an additional waist will make the in-game body match your own a bit better. So if you've got the uh, trackers paired and working, then you should see them appear uh, within SteamVR, like so. And then to get them to match with the game, you go to Devices, Manage Trackers, and then, and then Manage Trackers again. And then for each one, you want to set to either left foot, right foot, or the waist and then click close. Okay, next step, start the game. Okay, so once in game, if the full body trackers are there and detected, it will say full body trackers detected, start game set up, and also you should be able to see them in faint orange uh, where they are in the room. So if I go to play, should work in any mode. And then I'll choose a character, maybe one without glasses. Then it will prompt you set up full body tracking. So I'll choose yes. Then I'll end up in the advanced calibrate room and you can see each tracker has a label. Uh, so left foot, right foot, waist. Make sure you've got the correct one on the correct foot. And then walk over and smash full body trackers. Okay, step one, it says do a few kicks and punches to let your trackers settle. This is because uh, you might find that if they move um, during a fight, then uh, your feet might no longer be lined up with your own. And um, I know someone, if you lift a knee and the uh, waist tracker rides up, then you'll start doing a weird hunch. So, um, so yeah, just do a few kicks. A few, few knee raises, a few punches, a few stretches. Okay, and then press A on the right button on the right controller to continue. Okay, now you do a bit of a fine tuning with your height. So use the right thumbstick to raise your uh, position up and down so you can see yourself in the mirror. And basically, it's best if your legs are about straight or maybe a little bit under straight, so tr to try and match your own a bit. Okay, when you've done that, press A. And now uh, you're at the point where you line up the uh, trackers with these ghostly feet and your waist tracker with your body. Stand up straight and press A. Okay, so now it should be working. So you can see I can raise my knees. Uh, if the waist is a bit too far back or forward you can use the right thumbstick to to adjust that uh, but I recommend looking down see if the waist tracker seems about right uh, with your own body okay and then press A okay and our last uh, step you can just adjust the arms using the right thumbstick to make them uh, match up your own I'd recommend you have a little bit of a bend still in them 
and make sure all extremities the controllers still reach your hands okay when happy with that press a and it should be done you can always go back and set it up again and there are other calibration options if you need them okay so assuming you're happy uh, there's now a new button that appears the full body training so if you smash that you can go to this secret room with a few things to um a few things to kick okay so uh one last tip uh, if you go to the options menu you can um and then VR, you can switch on the safety circle. And for me, I put location and direction, and then I come back in the room. So this basically puts a circle on the floor. So if you have limited space, it can help keep you within uh, in the center of your room and facing forward. So if I see if I turn, I get these arrows. Uh, if, you, if you've got loads of space, then you don't feel you need to have this. And uh, if you don't need to keep facing one direction, uh, then you don't, don't have to have that option either. There is an option just for a circle on the floor as well, which is a bit less obnoxious. Okay, thank you very much. Hope that helps you set it up. If you have any questions, please ask in the uh, comments below. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy this new feature. Bye for now.